Balor is a Romanian 12-headed dragon, uh, and since the, uh, the wall has 12 screens, we thought that was appropriate. And that stands for the Brody Active Learning and Usability Research Wall. Uh, it's a collaboration between the Whiting School of Engineering, the Department of Computer Science, and the Sheridan Libraries. A display wall came out of the desire for um, the library to show off some of its very high resolution um, data sets. Uh, they maintain a data conservancy here. Uh, and so, you know, once we decided, hey, we're going to put this display wall in the BLC, the, the question then became, how do we interact with it? The way that we control the wall is with uh, the Microsoft Connect. So now instead of my sort of 2D mouse input and my you know, keys of my keyboard, I can now use my body to, to interact with this wall. Um, this is what the wall defaults to when people are just walking by. They're going to sort of get recognized by the wall and then coalesce into this sort of image monster, demonstrating them in a very simple way that the, that the wall is aware of them and knows where their arms are, knows where their, where their body is, and then can you know, respond to that information. So um, PicFlyer is um, the image viewing application. The way that a, a researcher would normally interact with these is you know, print them out on transparency and put them on a big light table and, and look at them that way. Now that you're seeing this at such a high resolution, you can start to make out um, things that you never saw before, but things that are incredibly important because they were very difficult for the artist to, to put in. They took time. You know, these, these little uh, people that are, that are up here by this bridge that you can barely make out when you're looking at it at normal resolution. Um, and that's what our researchers are interested in, is looking at, you know, the fine details of these types of images. So another collection that we have um, due to our, you know, close relationship with the Hubble Space Telescope Institute that's on our campus uh, is we have a lot of very high resolution Hubble Space Telescope imagery. Uh, when you take a lot of high resolution capabilities that the wall has, the large amount of screen real estate, the gesture based computing and the network connectivity, in many ways I think visualization is going to become a tool of the trade the way statistics is today. Uh, so people will just have large amounts of data and they'll sift through it visually or with tools or with capabilities that we build into these kinds of walls and then start asking research questions or have teaching uh, examples from that. Um, the game uh, is, is loosely based on the movie Tron, so you have a ball and you're sort of creating this trail as you drive around this course and the goal is to not hit the other person's trail or hit the walls or anything like that. It, the Kinect knows where I'm standing, it also knows how I'm positioning my body weight. Um, so if I, if I lean forward, I'm going to go fast. Uh, if, I, if I lean back, I'm going to slow down. And then based on me leaning side to side, um, as anybody who's ever ridden a bike will tell you, that is sort of this natural way that you can uh, control this, this little you know, sphere at actually you know, pretty fast velocities. Um, so we were featured in the Chronicle of Higher Education. Uh, recently we've actually been featured in Nature um, about the, the future of sort of interactive research. Um, so so that, that press that we've gotten has really um, sort of engaged a lot more of the academic community from, from the, uh, the university standpoint with you know, research in mind to other library institutions who are interested in showing off their collection. Uh, it's been very good for us and it's shown us sort of where in the very near term we can bring this kind of technology to bear. You're starting to see information uh, sort of jump out of your, you know, the, the form factor of your iPad and into 3D and into um, sort of large-scale displays. Um, you're starting to see display walls like this in airports and in other public places where they've sort of just been kind of eye candy uh, up until now. Right now you have people in the same physical space collaborating. But if you imagine this being in other learning commons or other universities or corporate settings or, in, or any place, you'll start to have people collaborating with each other even in different places. If we look at um, you know, the architectural firm or the you know, automotive firm of 20 years from now, their collaboration rooms, which are covered in whiteboards and post-it notes, are going to be high, high resolution display walls. That's, these are going to get cheaper and cheaper and cheaper, or somebody, God willing, is going to invent uh, a screen that you can paint on the wall. And then all of a sudden you're going to have these ultra high resolution displays everywhere that nobody is going to know how to put data on them, how to interact with them. This is the test bed for that, you know, that vision of the future. And I think it's, I think it's pretty, you know, clear that things are going in that direction.